Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's cataract surgery insight into a white intumescent heart NS4 cataract. I'm Dr. Abdurrahman Muhammad Alo. I have made the right and left sideboard with a 1.2 mm NVR blade. Now I'm making the main port with a 2.4 mm steel keratome. Followed by, I'm staining the anterior capsule with trifin blue. The capsule is stained with trifin blue because it will help in identifying the capsule pretty well during construction of the capsule rexus. My goal is to create a 5.5 mm continuous curvilinear capsule rexus. I am using the help of the system to guide the rexus flap in a circular manner and completing the rexus. In white intumescent cataract, it is best to do double rexus. Uh, primary small rexus followed by decompression of the back then uh, enlarging the primary rexus into a secondary larger rexus but in this case the rexus was behaving and when i inside inside the uh, anterior capsule there was spontaneous decompression of the back some liquefied cortex came out so i was confident that the rexus will not run out and cause argentinian flag sign but still, I am repeatedly giving OVD to flatten the anterior capsule and pressurize the anterior uh, chamber so that the rexus does not run out. And at the last, I decided to use the uh, rexus holding forcep to complete the rexus. A beautiful 5.5 mm CCC has been created. Now I am performing hydrodissection and tapping the nucleus and rotating the nucleus with the hydro cannula. Now refill the anterior chamber with OVD again. Now press the FACO handpiece and the Sinski inside the anterior chamber. Then groove out a central pit for modified chop. In scalp setting, I am using 100 energy to punch a hole in the endonucleus. The endonucleus, I am scalping about two thirds of the nucleus and going deep inside the nucleus until I see a silvery reflex of the posterior plate. Then I am performing vertical chop. First, I bury the FACO handpiece deep into the center of the endonucleus. With high vacuum, I hold the nucleus. Then with the Sinski, I perform vertical chop. In vertical chop, I lift the FACO handpiece slightly above and towards me. And with the Sinski, I press it down and move it laterally. Thereby, I can create a beautiful vertical chop. Multiple chops are being performed here. About 7 chop pieces I have created. Refill the anterior chamber with OVD to protect the endothelium during FACO emulsification. Now perform FACO emulsification of the chopped pieces while the spatula is shielding the corneal endothelium from lens turbulence. Turbulence can cause endothelial cell loss. Now I'm lifting the nucleus slightly to cut the unchopped piece and then placing the other piece inside the bag and emulsifying the other free floating piece thereby I reduces reduced lens turbulence in the anterior chamber and the spatula is always there to protect the endothelium now when one half of the nucleus has been removed refill the anterior chamber with OVD this will again protect the endothelium for further endothelial loss by the FACO energy again Shield the endothelium with the spatula. Now you have to protect the posterior capsule. So place the FACO head piece above and the spatula below the nuclear piece while emulsifying the piece. Thereby you can protect the posterior capsule from any form of PCT from occurring. Now with bimanual IA hand piece you can remove the cortex. 
in bimanual eye handpiece you can switch hand and remove the sub incisional sub incisional cortex easily now perform a little bit of posterior capsule polish in polish setting where the vacuum is very low about 10 and aspiration is 10 now perform hydro enlargement of the main port i have enlarged the main port to 2.8 millimeter now commence with the io loading in the cartridge you have to put the magnification at the lowest setting so you can see easily how the lens is being loaded into the cartridge I'm going to perform hydro implantation of the IOL where the irrigation IA handpiece is forming the AC. I dialed the tailing haptic with this irrigation IA handpiece also. Now, since there is no or less OVD, so uh, visco removal is pretty fast, about 5 to 3 seconds. Now, the case is completed. Stromal hydration of the main port, side port, and give intercameral antibiotic and subconjunctival dexamethasone, and the case is completed beautifully. Thank you, my dear friends. Hope this cataract surgery inside video into white intumescent cataract with a hard nucleus of NS4 was helpful in developing your surgical skills.